What do you do? I've lurked here for a bit, but just now decided to join. Here's my story. Been with my wife for 21 years, married almost 10. She was 18 and I was 22 when we became a couple. She had always had some emotional instability due to a troubled childhood, but I did as well just not as deep as hers. When we met, I was a worthless boss and didn't have anything going for me but a good family behind me. She gave me reason to change my life and provide something wholesome we could both enjoy. She took care of me essentially for the first two years of our relationship, and as my life improved, I made a vow to repay and always take care of her. Fast forward 20 years and I have an excellent job, made great money, have a house, go on vacations. Sure we struggled a little, but in my eyes, I'm living the American dream. Also, we definitely had some ups and downs over the years but were always faithful to one another. So, in February she calls me and says a friend of a friend on FB has some strawberry plants he's weeding out and asked if I cared if she got some. I am not controlling, but my instincts told me no, but I said sure no problem anyway. We all know where this leads but this is how it started. Anyhow, as the weeks go on the spring season for our garden is right around the corner. She tells me she's going to get a truckload of dirt delivered and that this other guy, Strawberry Man, was going to take a yard or two for himself, help us put the other seven yards of dirt into our garden, and pay for his. Again, didn't like it because this was a sidebar conversation, I knew nothing about, but not a huge deal to me at the time. The dirt is delivered, I do most of the work getting it into the garden, he shows up two hours late and helps with the last two yards. Later that day my wife posts on Facebook a big thanks to Mr. Strawberry Man for helping with the garden today. I was not on FB, but a friend of mine saw this and asked what the hell. So late March I started feeling something odd from my wife, so I looked at phone records, and discovered she'd been talking with the guy for one to two months, many times a day. I approached her and told her it needed to stop now, and what was she doing? She a few days go by, and I noticed the calls continued so I blasted her with a text at work asking what the hell. The calls on her phone got immediately deleted and so did the texts. I blew a gasket as I went off on her about it. She marches home that day with her boss and tells me she wants a divorce and love you not in love crap. I was shocked. First that she brought her boss with her as support, how humiliating and degrading, and secondly that she dropped the bomb. During our argument I asked if this was over the guy, and was she having a pee or ea with him. She said he was nice, they have a lot in common and were just friends. I didn't buy it. I had always drunk alcohol throughout our 21 years together, and never once was told it was an issue, until the day she dropped the bomb. Said the kids shouldn't be around it, and that was going to be an issue with custody. I checked myself almost immediately into a 30-day inpatient rehab and have been clean for over 90 days she's not going to use alcohol as an excuse to destroy my life further and try and take my kids. I return home after 30 days, which was very traumatic to myself and kids, to the same old crap, except where are you going to live? I told her to GTFO, this is my house and you want this. You had an EORP and are destroying our kids' lives. I knew she was because I went through her phone and found this guy was texting her things like hey love, how are you today and baby, how are you, crap like that. She winds up moving into her cousin's basement a few miles away and has to pay rent. I also cut her off my car insurance and cell phone plan so she has to pay those now. She is struggling to pay her bills now, always complains about not having any money and all I say is oh, well. I have my kids three days a week and every other weekend, she has them two days a week and every other weekend. I am still an emotional wreck, have been on meds for two months which have helped, but my life sucks right now. Work is tough with what's on my mind. Anyhow, my 180 I started consisted of this. First day out of rehab, bought a vehicle I had always wanted. Bought myself essentially a new wardrobe. Signed my kids up for karate like I had always wanted to do, was a problem before because we shared a vehicle. Joined this awesome health club with my kids that has an indoor, outdoor pool, childcare services, and more. My wife is bitter at me because I always provided for them, and never for myself. I am now treating myself right and she hates it because she's struggling. We have had the alimony talk, and I quite frankly told her if she goes for alimony, I have to sell the house because I won't be able to afford it, the kids will have to move and change schools, friends. She does not want that, so she has agreed to no alimony, for now. I'm going to refinance the house and give her half the equity, and that's IT, so far for now. I will have primary custody of my kids also, so I won't have to pay CS. This has been the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, and she's still seeing this guy on top of it all. What a heartless bee she's been to me, all the lies I've uncovered since. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered just ending it all, but the kids are what's most important and I could never do that to them. I am only one month into separation, but don't know how I'm going to make it another 11 months for her to file. I want to R, but she says no, doesn't love me anymore and hasn't for 2-3 to three years. We go to mediation on Friday about the kids, so my nerves are tight right now. My family and her family both support me, not her in this whole mess. How do I stay the course? I'm not sure I could trust her again, or if she's just having a MLC that she'll get over and wake up from. She wants the D, not me. Sobriety is something I am taking seriously now, that and my daily exercise regimen. 
and my physique has already changed for the better dropping 25 pounds. I agree she is a cruel bee for what she's done, and she acts like I was the one to blame for everything, which I believed for the first few weeks after the BD. The financial stuff is what has me most worried, but we see a mediator on Friday about the kids and we will talk about getting that stuff put into a contract well before the divorce. Hopefully it goes according to plan, but I've told her several times that my fate is in your hands. You have the ability to completely ruin my life financially, but that would mean I lose the house and wouldn't be able to provide for the kids. I'm hoping that is enough to deflect all of the bad advice she's been getting from her friends and co-workers. I have been trying the NC rule. Seems to be working a little bit as she is the primary one that calls me nowadays. This morning she called and had my son on the phone to greet me. Afterwards he put my other two girls on the phone. After I spoke to my last girl, they traditionally hand the phone to their mother. This morning after I said bye to my last one, I just hung up the phone. Well, she hasn't told me that. I am assuming it because of what I have seen, and I am not a damn idiot. The R is only because of the children, but there would be a tight leash and things that would need to happen for it like full disclosure, access to phone at any time, tracking on car and cell phone, etc. I consulted a lawyer, but do not have one on retainer. We are trying to do this through mediation, because neither one of us has the money for a drawn-out battle in court. I am definitely staying the course on sobriety, and many people have told me that I am a great father and some woman is going to be extremely happy in the future. I already do pity her, honestly she is messed up in the head. She knows she can get alimony from me, the reason why she will deny it is because she wants the kids to stay in the same house, go to the same school and have the same friends. See, she lost her childhood home when she was in her early teens and was forced to move. That event has scarred her to the core to this day she still drives by her old house, wishing she hadn't have lost it. I have that in my corner, thank God. If I have to pay her alimony, I won't be able to afford the house, and we'd have to sell it. Child support is a no, because the kids will live with me 70% plus of the time, so she will be required to pay me something every month, not much, but she would be the one to pay support. I already told her that I wouldn't accept it, so it's not a big deal to me I told her that I would actually help her with some dollar sign dollar sign every month until she got on her feet. I'm just crossing my fingers this becomes a reality, and I don't get screwed. Why no mediators? I think at this point I am accepting this is over. Spoke with family members about it, and they are all overwhelmingly saying to get the agreement done quick by the mediators, signed and move on. I don't have one hundreds of thousands of dollars, so the only thing that will truly kill me is alimony which she feels she doesn't deserve because she wants to leave. I did mention writing our own agreement up based off of some I have seen online. She still wants to bring it to a lawyer to have them make sure it's legit can't really blame her honestly. The lawyer I consulted was said to put a clause in it that said something to the effect of this agreement. Contract is final and may not be retried or brought into a court in the future something like that. Wow, B from hell just stopped by with the kids. I reiterated the house must be sold if you get alimony, and she said, I want what the law says I can have. I told her that she could decide what she wants to have without taking alimony. The chit just hit the fan, I think. I'm screwed, she keeps bringing up the fact that I bought a new vehicle and have all of these monthly debts, yet I don't have enough for alimony or CS. The worst part about Strawberry Man is he is 5 to 6 years younger than my wife, was convicted of manufacturing marijuana for distribution and was given 10 years, served 5 and has been out for 1 year, he has multiple previous CDS with intent to distribute charges, and lives at home with his parents, told my STBX that he's just using her to get what he wants and it won't last. Maybe she is okay with being a bee, wouldn't surprise me. First, the bee is still with Strawberry Man, but I don't think they're an exclusive couple of friend of mine found my WW on a site weeks back and he posted it on POSOM's Facebook page. Second, my children live with me and she only gets them every other weekend. I spoke with my attorney, yes, I got one, and she, she's a hyena, told me that having the kids living with me now pretty much solidifies the fact that I will be the primary custodial parent, which means the worthless bee will have to pay me child support. I am not worried about alimony, as I really don't have anything left to give her after all of my monthly expenses, so she's in for a rude awakening there. I also don't give two crap about anything else but my kids now. I have done a full 180, go the gym all of the time, went from 23% body fat to 16% and gained 15 pounds, muscle. I've been sleeping and eating well and just feel all around great about myself the best I have been in many years to be honest. My WW's friends have dumped her and embraced myself and my kids, and everything is going great. I am always busy and active with my kids, and life seems pretty good to me right now. My comment, I love that she is going to end up paying support. It's a pity that more men don't act decisively like you did and get rid of their cheating wives. Story 2 I've been with my wife for 15 years now and married for 12. We are both 40 years old and have one son who is 8 years old. Before our son was born our relationship was great. We had an awesome physical life and we went out and did things that couples would do. Fast forward a few years and now that we've had our son my wife is pretty much only a mother now and not a wife. We haven't gone out on a date in 2 years now. 
Bonding hardly ever happens as I'm turned down most of the time. She used to give great job and now I have to beg for it and I'm lucky if I get it two to three times a year with a max of two minutes before she's done. She never wants to do anything and we've become mostly just roommates. I have an extremely high drive and I'm also in great shape. I have a great job, as does she, and we make a lot of money. We had major financial troubles a few years back but that's behind us and money is no longer an issue or stressor. I've been vocal about how I feel and how important bonding is to me and she just doesn't seem to care. Things sometimes will get better for a week at the most but then go back to this rut. She's unwilling to go on a vacation or even a date for that matter. She never wants to look nice and when I ask her to wear makeup, she gets all pissed off saying I'm trying to change her. Before we were married, she wore makeup for me all the time and it was never an issue but now she won't. Fast forward to the past two years and our relationship just keeps getting worse. I resent being around her and not even sure if I even love her anymore. We don't have any connections and she's unwilling to care about what's important to me. Not just sleeping together, she always complains that she doesn't feel good every single day for the past five years. Now, she is sick with possible Lyme disease so we haven't had slept together in over a month. I understand how she feels and I'm sympathetic to it but I'm just so miserable in this relationship and this is not how I want to spend the rest of my life. I know I'm coming off as very selfish and I expect criticism about that but if I'm unhappy with my relationship and I've done everything I can to change things why should I not be selfish any longer? She's unwilling to go to counseling of any sort. Last year I actually went by myself and every bit of advice they gave me to try I did and they all failed. She just gave me a batch of crap saying is this what your crazy doctor told you to do? It just seems like a vicious cycle that will never improve with the potential Lyme disease. I hate to leave her if she's really sick like this but I also can't get sucked into the misery that I'm stuck in much longer with no end in sight. She's one to complain about everything and see everything in a negative light. She's complained about a headache for years but won't go to the doctor about it. When we were in the ER last week because of a panic attack from complications of the Lyme we met with a neurologist who said she needed to figure out what the headaches were from so he scheduled an MRI and CT scan to see if something shows up. I just know I can't continue living like this and it seems divorce is my best option while I'm still young enough to enjoy my life. I'm honestly one of the most hands-on fathers out there. My wife leaves for work before I do in the morning so I get our son up, fed breakfast, lunch made, homework done, and on the bus every single morning. I have a unique work schedule so I do most of the cleaning, laundry in the house so it's not that. She's a teacher so she has summers off so if it was stress then the summer would be different. When it comes to bonding, I will do anything and everything she wants. When we do sleep together, it is amazing and I try to make it as enjoyable as possible for her. I do tons of research on making a woman happy and apply it. I know what she likes and what she doesn't like. As for trauma, we had financial issues five years ago when I started my business and lost my full-time job. It is possible there is uncertainty there but we currently make over 300000 per year so any resentment or uncertainty should be gone by now. I truly feel she can't flip between a wife and mother so she is only a mother. As for the Lyme issue it isn't confirmed she has it and the last two months I haven't said anything about set to add stress to her. The timing sucks but I need to determine what is left for this relationship. The possible Lyme issue is new, just started a few weeks ago. That said, we haven't had slept together since this has been going on and I haven't even tried. I haven't given her a hard time about this. The major issue is not Lyme it's how things have been the past five years. Is it possible she no longer loves me? Sure, it's very possible. However, whenever I'm not around she always wants me home or with her. She tells me she loves me fairly often and we do go camping every weekend and it's always family time when we go. Is it possible she's cheating? Honestly, I'm 99. 999% positive it's not that. She's open and honest and very faithful. It's truly the last thing I would ever suspect. My brother recently left his wife for a younger girlfriend and my wife can't even talk to him because she hates what he did so much. She really doesn't have the time to be honest but again, anything is possible. Is she depressed? This is a tough one because she has never been diagnosed with it and only started taking the Zoloft because she had a panic attack last week over the potential of the Lyme diagnosis. However, when I talked to her about it today, she said she only took it for two days and then stopped. Have I let myself go? No, I haven't. I own my own fitness gym so being an example is a priority. I work out all the time and shower two times per day blah blah blah. Def not the issue. She knows I've been thinking about leaving her. It bothers her from what I can see and things will be great for a week or two but then it seems we fall right back into the same rut. We really don't have any help with regards to getting someone to take our son so that's a big issue with dating. We try to go away for a night but it's nearly impossible to get someone to watch our son so it becomes stressful. She's been very apologetic these past several weeks because she knows I'm upset because we haven't had slept together or any part of a relationship whatsoever. I let her know that I understand what she's going through and I truly care. I'm anything but a pushover but I am very caring. I take the guy role in the relationship and I'm not insecure or anything like that. 
I truly believe the issue is that she became a mom and that's the role she took and being a wife, girlfriend took a backseat. I'm going to take a completely different approach and see how it works. I will comfort her more and not complain about what I'm not getting in this relationship and talk about what I am getting. She is absolutely beautiful and I'm beyond attracted to her. She's super smart and does care about people. I don't want to end in divorce I just want my old wife back. When I suggest doing things, we, she used to do she says that I'm trying to change her which isn't true. I explain that all the things she did before marriage and before our son is what sold me on her and now that she doesn't do any of it, I feel cheated in a way. She knows how important bonding is to me but for whatever reason doesn't really care. She will say this is who I am and I try my best but we both know this isn't her best. I've been going back and forth with if I should stay with my wife or not. We've had a lot of issues in the past few years and I truly feel she is only a mother and no longer a wife. We haven't gone out on a date in almost two years now, we haven't had slept together in three months and it's only been a few times this entire year. I made a pro and cons list about the good and bad about our relationship and it was nearly one-sided. I think I just don't love her anymore and it's time to move on. The difficult part is that she is recovering from Lyme disease. She's prob 80% better than she has been all summer. We are getting specialized care outside of our insurance so she gets the best care possible. This will not change no matter what. My business is also going through a major transition over the next month so I can't move out until that is done. My thought is to start planning the moving out for mid-October and get everything lined up with a new place to live etc. My concern is leaving her if she is still sick. I do still truly care for her but I just decided I can't live the rest of my life with her if I'm beyond unhappy. This has nothing to do with her being sick this has to do with something I've been struggling with for years. She's unwilling to change or put in any more effort and she refuses to go to counseling. I just can't do this to myself. How should I approach this with her and what can I expect? In a perfect world she will be fully recovered from Lyme when I leave but that may not be the case. Should I plan on sticking around until she is full cured and then find a place to live? There has been a lot going on. My father is really sick and has been in the hospital for 10 days now. My wife hasn't made any effort to help with anything nor go visit him. He had some major complications yesterday and I had to rush home from our weekend away to help him. Nothing from her. He moved closer to us two years ago and she's only been there once. My brother recently went through a divorce and his girlfriend has been to see my dad every single day. We had a long talk last night about what is going on with my wife. She suggested going on a double date so I asked my wife and she refused. I understand she is sick but she is still alive and is more than capable of going out to dinner. My brother left his wife because she always said no to everything. He could only have two toys at any given time. Who comes up with this crap? I need someone that I can experience life with not someone that I go about my life and when I come home, I get to listen to her complain about everything. I'm 40 years old and feel like I'm married to an 80 year old. My wife has an excuse for everything and often says we are not in our 20s anymore. I don't know about you but I was unaware that life stops after 20. I've tried for over 2 years to get my wife to go to counseling. She refused to go no matter what. I ended up going last year for several months by myself. Then, any advice I would get and try to apply in our relationship I would get the is this what your crazy doctor told you to do? As for being up front I've told my wife more than once that we are at the breaking point in our marriage if things don't change. The response I get in return is this is who I am and I try my best to make things good. She knows things suck and she knows how unhappy I've been with her. She honestly doesn't care. As for waiting to tell her we are done yes, it is selfish. But if I tell her then she will force me out of the house. Until all the changes are done with my business, I can't find another place to live unless I move in with my father and I'm not prepared for that. I want to be happy and there are certain things in a relationship I need in order to be happy. They may not mean anything to someone else but to me they are important. I shouldn't have to go without those things if I choose not to. As I write this my wife texts me from the other room that she loves me. This is the crap that mess with my head. If she loved me then she would be willing to be a wife. She is a very private person which is why she says she won't go to counseling. I think in her mind going to talk to someone is admitting there is something wrong with her. I explain all the time that's not the case. As far as her concerns are, we are actually going to sit down tonight and map out our five-year plan. This includes everything that needs to happen personally and financially during that time. She is willing to put in the work and so aren't I if she is more open-minded and so aren't I. There is no reason to get this relationship back on track and back to being great. The Lyme disease couldn't have come at a worse time. We were arguing quite a bit and then this came along and complicated things even further. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise to some degree to make us take a step back and take a bird's eye view of everything. We need to make it through September and hopefully things will improve afterwards. We had a talk about the bonding issue and she admitted it isn't because she physically can't do it. The issue is because of the antibiotics she's had nearly chronic yeast infections. She's on a prescription probiotic which doesn't seem to be working good enough. We have a follow-up with her doctor on Friday so hopefully we can get some answers. I need to be more understanding of her needs and what she's going through during this time. 
We discussed her weight training in the past and she always refused to do it. I brought it up today when she's better and she said she's open to the idea when she's healthy. She said since she's lost all this weight on Lyme disease, she said it would be nice to get toned up as well. After two years of more or less hell with my wife and the past six months with her being sick I've decided to throw in the towel. Many here will call me an ass or whatever but I have to do what I need to do in order to make myself happy. We've been married for 12 years and together for 15. She hasn't supported me for years and we've had a more or less non-physical marriage for the past two years with the past six months being completely bonding free. She makes promises and doesn't keep them and just isn't there for me when I need her. I've needed her the most I ever have the past six weeks and she wasn't there for me at all. I'm currently looking for a new place to live and hoping to be able to secure something within the next week or so. I haven't told her that I'm leaving but will write when I'm leaving. I wanted to make things work but at the end of the day we are no longer compatible and I need to do what I can in order to be happy again. I told her tonight that I was moving out once I found a townhouse. She didn't understand why and I explained that the past two years have been terrible and that I can no longer live like this. She tried saying it was because she's been sick and I explained that she hasn't been sick for two years. I'm hoping to be able to finalize something this week and to be out near the beginning of the month. I'm not taking anything with me really except for my clothes etc. I'm going to let her keep everything furniture-wise and I will just buy new stuff as I go. I'm not looking for a fight I just want to go back to enjoying my life. She just gets mad at me. She says that she is sick and I need to understand. I explain to her that I still have needs that haven't been met for the past two plus years and things have only gotten way worse. She just doesn't care. Everything has always been about her and not US. She knows I'm moving out and is pissed about it but is unwilling to do anything to improve our situation. I can't live like this and I'm not going to. Update. I started the paperwork. We are going to do an uncontested divorce to just get it over with as quickly as possible. I'm really not taking anything from our marriage with me. I just bought a new bed and mattress and moved to our downstairs bedroom. I'm hoping to be signing a lease by the end of next week for a new townhouse. I just can't take the fighting and lack of effort on her part. Whenever I talk about my needs, she just blows me off and isn't willing to do anything about it. I can no longer live like this and I'm sick of just being a caretaker to her while she does absolutely nothing to make things better. I know it's going to be a long road ahead of me but I'm prepared for the next phase of my life. It has to be better than what I have going right now. Two years later, I cheated and left my wife and now have been with this woman for seven months. We live together and things are mostly great. She's much younger than I am. I'm 41 and she's 25. I have one nine-year-old boy from my marriage. My wife and I are legally separated and the divorce will be finalized in April or May. My GF is convinced I will go back to my ex and it causes a ton of issues. Because we have a child together, we will always have contact and we are on decent terms. We talk about our child and what's best for him. I'm currently living with my GF but with her jealousy it's causing issues with our relationship. Are there any things I can do to assure her I only want to be with her? Divorce that will be finalized next month. I've been living with my GF since early on but she doesn't accept anything about my ex-wife. However, she gets super angry whenever anything about my ex comes up and she shuts down. I have a 9-year-old son and we share custody. My GF wants to know whenever I message or get a message from my ex which I've been mostly good about. I have forgotten to tell her a couple times which I get yelled at for. I've had little to no contact at all whatsoever with my ex except if it is regarding our so. Anyways, I ran into an old client of mine early this evening and when I told me GF, she shut down on me saying she didn't want to know I was talking about my ex. She then asks what time I'm dropping my son of tomorrow and I told her 7.30. She then asks how my ex knows and I said she messaged me and I replied 7.30. Now, my GF won't talk to me and is beyond pissed off at me because I didn't tell her. Am I being insensitive and thinking this isn't a conversation just correspondence about our son or is she right being pissed at me for not telling me and shutting down and staying in the bedroom and not talking to me? I'm really frustrated right now because had I told her about it prior, she still would have been prob just as pissed at me. My GF goes with me when I drop my son off and I haven't seen my ex in months. It's unfortunate that this has to happen. I'm crazy about this girl and we were in the process of moving to a townhouse next weekend. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight and rethinking what is best for me and my son. It might be best that she goes to the townhouse without me and I stay here to figure things out. This clearly isn't the first time this has happened and it's happened when I've told her that my ex contacted me and the same outcome. She got pissed off at me when I told her someone was asking what happened with my ex and then this happened. She shuts down fast and hard when she does and it's beyond frustrating. Maybe because she cheated on another person before me, that's why. Maybe the age thing is what I'm seeing here or just a major jealousy issue. Who knows? She also tries to talk so much crap about my ex and how ugly she is and that she looks transgender etc. I don't play into it as I don't find any humor in it. Oh well, sucks because things were going so well but I can't and won't walk on eggshells whenever I have to talk to my ex about my son. I shouldn't have to feel like I'm sneaking around when I say I'm dropping him off at a certain time. Two weeks ago, something similar happened. 
We went to the baseball game and it was a Sunday. I drop him off at 7 and we both agreed that I needed to message my ex that we would be late because she freaks if the schedule is changed even a tiny bit. I messaged her and said I would prop, be there around 7.30 to 7.45. I did this while my GF was in the bathroom because we were literally leaving the park. When we got to the car, I told her I messaged my ex to let her know we would be late and again she flipped out. It completely ruined the entire day and night because she felt I did it behind her back even though we talked about having to message her. Half a year later. Anyways, it's now been 14 months since I've been with my GF and I couldn't be happier. We had a few issues along the way. One was a few months ago but overall things have been amazing. We spend a ton of time together. We have similar interests. We've explored life together both physically and non-physically. We are madly in love and actually now have a very healthy relationship. Aside from two to three fights we never argue. We respect each other and we have each other's back. We moved into a townhouse together. We have shared custody of my son and I've gone on more vacations with her than my ex of 16 years. So many women bashed me on here and said the age gap would never work and that she is a home wrecker blah 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 but that's clearly not the case. We will likely get engaged in the spring and hopefully build a lifetime together. My comment, I wouldn't trust either of you. You cheated on your wife, left your child, and she cheated with another woman's husband, a sick woman at that. Yes, she is a home wrecker. So, are you. Do you honestly think this will last? Sorry but neither of you have any moral values and will cheat again given the chance in the future, probably her being that she is young enough to be your daughter. She has done it once and she will do it again especially when you begin to show your age more.